Good morning and welcome to Sunnyside News where we bring you only the most positive and interesting information from the heart of Florida right here in Polk County. Sunnyside News is sponsored by Nature's Place, home of the Key Network and Speech Therapy Services. Today is Friday, February 3rd, 2017. I would like to welcome everyone to today's program. Moving right into the good news pieces for this week, I want to share with you the first item that's coming from Alaska, where this month the state has passed new divorce legislation. Now we all know that divorce courts must consider the well-being of the children in divorce cases, but the 49th state has now added that courts must take into account the well-being of family pets of divorcing couples. They are also setting legislation for joint custody terms of the pets involved. Now the same piece of legislation also allows for family animals to be considered in domestic violence cases wherein restraining orders can be served in order to protect the family companion animals. How great is that? What a wonderful precedent. The next good news item I would like to share with you comes from India and it seems that India has been hit with a cold snap and some members of a local village have become very concerned about the welfare of the animals at the Wildlife SOS Center. So they began knitting what now have become jumbo jackets. Now these are sweaters for the elephants that reside there. These pachyderm sweaters are said to take up to four weeks to produce, but the recipients are very grateful for the warmth. What a wonderful idea. This next good news item is really uh, relevant to all of us on a national level. It seems that Costco has silently published its policy on sustainability commitment wherein they have taken steps to eliminate suppliers of the garden supplies they offer in their stores that utilize bee killing pesticides in their products. Now this demonstrates a level of not only commitment but taking responsibility and stepping up as a retail giant to do their part in saving our planet and our plants. What a great thing. This next good news item I would like to share with you comes from New York where you, you know it's that dreaded time of year when the flu bug is making its rounds. And while we humans deal with the dreaded virus every year, we often do not stop to consider that our canine family members are also susceptible to the annoying and potentially dangerous illness. Well, the folks over at the University of Rochester School of Medicine and Dentistry have developed the first ever canine flu vaccine. In fact, there's two vaccines that they have developed. This will also benefit humans as well, as it seems the flu viruses in a dog's system can actually act as mixing bowls and generate new strains of the flu virus that can be passed on to others, including humans. So it is to our benefit as well. Well, this is February, and did you know that February is Oral Hygiene Awareness Month? Now, this might prompt you to be curious about who invented the toothbrush. Now, the toothbrush as we know it was invented in 1938, but there were early forms have been in existence since ancient times when chew sticks with frayed ends were used. Now, the bristle brush first appeared in 1478 in China when the coarse hairs from a hog's neck were attached to handles made of bone and bamboo. Nylon bristles did not come along all the way until 1938 when DuPont de Nemours made the toothbrush that we now know. And now you know where the toothbrush came from and how long it's actually been around. Moving right along to the weekend events, I would like to share with you all weekend in Winter Haven will be the Smoke on the Water Barbecue Competition to benefit the Citrus Center for Boys and Girls Clubs. Now there will be more than 80 competitors who will be battling it out for what is actually the State Barbecue Championship. This starts Friday at 6 p.m. and Saturday it happens from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now you can get further information by calling 863 967-1532. Another event I would like to share with you on February 4th from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. is the Color of the Trail 5K and Fun Fest at the Bone Valley ATV Park in Mulberry. There will be food trucks and entertainment. You can get further information by calling 863-534-6911.
Also happening on February 4th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Auburndale Civic Center is the Master Elvis Impressionist, Dave Erlett, who has been featured on The Oprah Show, CNN, CBS, and also Las Vegas. And this show will be a tribute to not only Elvis, but also Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and others. And this will benefit the District 4 VFW. You can get further information by calling 863-274-6276. So that is our program for this week. I, as usual, I would like to wrap it up with a nice quote for you that goes, don't worry about failures, worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. And that was said back in the day by Jack Canfield. So that is our program for today. Thank you so much for joining Sunnyside News this week. I hope that you go out and enjoy this fabulous Central Florida winter weather that we're having. Be safe and as usual, always keep your sunny side up. Bye for now.